Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome back to Corpse Party If, Past End. Previously in Corpse Party If, we were blasted by Force Lightning, which forced us to go back through all our terrible traumatic memories. Now we've awoken, and we're ready to kick ass and take some names. The Gogatsu Ningo Sword. It's now blue colored, which means it's at least magic level. But it's not orange, which makes it kind of terrible because it's not a legendary item. The Demon Slaying Blade. Is that, is that another sword right there? It's broken, I guess. See, before his blade didn't become demon slaying till after, and everyone just kind of gave him their power. Maybe that's still gonna happen here. We'll see. Sayako. And as you see, even the arena changed. Like I said, it didn't. It went from a kind of horror area to a kind of like a dojo, a kendo dojo or something, like representing her psyche. Minami no ie made todoke na kei kenen da. Ichiyo kyoshi nan de na. Tsurui yo. Watashi mo. Yeah, I think you're dead. Watashi they also seem to feel your decorating. Take this key and run like hell. I'm kind of upset you won't see me like real, be real badass with the katana, but. Don't worry about me. It'll look really cool. I guarantee it. That's a lie, by the way. You see, that's what they call a death flag. I'm not sure why you wouldn't forgive me, I didn't exactly do anything. As I firmly grasped the demon slaying blade, I could feel Shinosaki's power surging within. 
As I looked towards Sayako, I felt an intense negative energy emanating from her, a power so strong that the earth tremored below her feet. Sayako stood about three feet opposite of me. I held my blade at ready. The finale is drawing near. Sayako is rushing forward with intent to kill. I read Sayako's movements and parried her blow. We had done this many times before while sparring. We both knew how the other one fought. It's not that surprising, since Sayako taught me everything I know. However, deep down, I knew there was no way I could win in a fair fight. So they got rid of the RPG battle, I assume. And they just gave us this kind of visual novel perspective. I actually preferred the gimmicky RPG battle, just because it was a throwback to the original. And it's a little more visceral, even if there's not much going on. I can't let Saiko's words get to me. My palms were starting to sweat, and my grip was growing slippery. I finally reunited with my friends here. I know now that I can't let fear and regret take control of me. They didn't drag me back in here to torment me. They gave me their forgiveness. This is gonna spoil the mood a bit, but Yoshiki's there's something really off about his hand and arms, how they're drawn.
There's some kind of intense fight going on in the background, but I can't see it. Psycho was even stronger than she was in life. The speed at which she struck at me was unimaginable. I was instantly on the defensive. There was no way I could retaliate with a strong counterattack. I felt Sayako's lifeless eyes stare intently at me. Her eyes only screamed one word at me. Surrender. Her speed, strength, and skill were all far above my own. I was no match for her. She gave me no opening to strike back. I guess I'll have to make one myself. If I could never beat you in life, then I can beat you in death. So then. ああ。いいよ。辛かっ<笑> ずっと一緒。違うんだ。だから謝っとく。え? <笑> ごめんな。なんで。なんでなのよ。こんなところで。こんなところにいてちゃ そっちに行けそうもない。
Now we get to switch out all that drama with the terror and awkwardness of being chased by half of a mannequin. Damn, if only I was a Hulk. Just slowly making my way across, trying not to slip. There we go. Um, the rope is gone. If you could do me another favor, uh, get rid of the ghost bridge as he's crawling across and just, you know, stop him from chasing me. I wonder where he is right now. Can I just wander around and not care? Did they do what I asked? Doesn't seem to be chasing me. Oh, this is my tune! It seems pretty peaceful, actually. Oh, they just don't seem to care. Nothing chasing me? No clock ticking? I guess he actually did just close up the bridge behind me and... You know... Ha ha ha! I've crawled down from the wall! If anyone needs a hand, it's him. Maybe half of a body, too. I remember this being a lot harder in uh, the previous version of this. Like, he was actually faster than his non, uh, um, full self. I don't even remember what that classroom was. We're on the second floor, right? So it was 2-9? Wasn't it down there? Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, I can't do anything. This one foot gap. It's completely unjumpable.
So we got less dramatic of a final battle, per se, although we got the suicide together thing. And they kind of switched that up with having the ghost help her escape instead. Adding a little bit more connection there, which I suppose is better. So they, it's a little bit less anime than before in that whole situation. Oh, this was Classroom 2 right here. Nope, not, no it isn't. This one? Yes. Kishinuma, he... He died like a total badass. You should have been there to see it, and it was really cool. Like he said. Look at my life. I'm stuck in for eternity in this damn school. Sometimes I wonder why they got rid of that, the whole white room don't turn back thing from the original. Maybe it was there, I don't remember it, but I don't think it was. I'm pretty sure they just had to do the bell run and just get out of there in time. You know, if actually, if anything, we'll probably see it in Blood Drive, if that's the finale for Heavenly Host, anyway. <laughs> if I view the menu, it'll be sort of turning around. Oi.
I'm glad I caught you in the nick of time. Don't, don't find my weird distorted speaking style suspicious. Yeah, I forgot that originally didn't have the whole memories wiped gimmick. Hmm. They extended the ending in a little bit. I think the previous point just ended as soon as she left the white room. I have to go back and check. But this time they decided to add a little bit of closure to it. Well, I'll say that's definitely an improvement over the previous Corpse Party If. Voice acting definitely made a difference, I think. Especially on certain scenes like the finale and whatnot. Uh, and some of the changes made the game a little more subtle, like I said with the finale, how it's less metal to the death and more of sacrificial feeling. Because I think in the original, he didn't actually stab himself through. He, uh, he actually did beat her, but he just kind of died from his wounds afterwards. Oh no, actually I remember now, he was possessed by evil spirits and then he stabbed himself. Yeah, it was a bit different. Here there was none of that possession, evil spirit thing, it was just a straight battle. Also a little note is, um, I have the credit song muted for copyright reasons, but I do recommend uh, either getting the game or finding a video of it. Because the ending song's kind of catchy a little bit.
ありがとう。There's something both nice and poetic about that, and also sad. The good part is he saved everyone. The sad part is he's just gonna be laying there in a pool of his own blood, with a sword ran through him for a long time. Oh, tell screen changed. That's kind of cool. And the extra game, traumatized Yoshi. I've got to reach her. I must save Shinozaki. This is what the only thing I can do for all eternity. Being stuck here dead. So many models. Left to right. I always go right. What was beyond this door? Nothing. And this is actually, uh, this is actually pretty much a Scooby-Doo simulator. Up here, up here, up here. There you go. I found you, Sayako! Slow Titans. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, that's... That's something, alright. That is something. Whew! Crazy. That seems to be a simple one in comparison. I'll stop him from going up the stairs! Oh no, I'm too slow. Down here. Oh, they're gonna pincer me in real hard in a sec. Ow! I kind of feel bad taking the drama out of the finale and just going straight to this. Frick. Oh my god! I give up. Well guys, that's it for Corpse Party F Past End. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Take it easy.